well everyone this is the style view live oscar special guys this is really exciting we have with us our illustrious panel and i'm going to start down with here with our our first panelist all right hey everybody welcome back i am jody johnson of agape couture productions hi i'm aya rhodes um blogger at blog chick network i am shade dennis program director of the gum network and i'm e harlan scott president of e-signature series vegan hair care systems well, guys, this has been a really phenomenal experience so far. We've seen yes. some styles. I mean, you know, of course, we're here on the East Coast. The red carpet has started over uh, in L.A. We've mm -hmm. seen some beautiful styles. We're going to be showing you guys not only tips, but we're going to be breaking some styles down. Now, mind you, the red carpet's already started, but that's okay. But we're going to just tell you our favorites yes. and get to the nitty-gritty today. Jody, you want to start off? My favorite, hands down right now, has got to be Taraji Henson. She is giving me glamour sophistication, elegance, all of that. I, I, I would say she's redeemed herself from uh, the guffaw of the Grammys <laughs> event, but we won't talk about that. But tonight she has given you all the style and class that, you know, a movie star should on a night like tonight. Hi, how about you? So far tonight, I'm going to say my favorite is Carly Kloss. I think mm -hmm. her name is. Mm -hmm. She came in with a super dramatic white floor length gown with a nice split and a cape. Um, I think the capes are definitely um, blowing up the red carpet this season, mm -hmm. and she's wearing it well. Very well. I, I have to see uh, Taraji just as yes. well. She, looks, she rebounded from yes. what, a year ago. Rebound. Oh, Good word. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, she looks fabulous. She does. Yes, she does. Clean, like nice Like a movie hair. star. Yeah, she looks nice. Wow, and yeah. she's so pretty. Her skin yes. Yes. just glows. Mm -hmm. Wow. Have you ever done her, Eddie? No, I've never yeah, done her. Surprise. Wow. I've never <laughs> okay, surprise. Way. I know, it's amazing. Never. Well, soon, I guess, you know. That's right. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of, speaking of the atmosphere. Absolutely. That's done now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I really liked um, Octavia Spencer. I was going to say, she, she so looks pretty. fantastic. She's she yes. flawless. That's sober. Yes. And the color. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And the detail of the bottom Definitely. of the dress. Definitely. Very regal. Elegant. And, and it looks like. Like couture, it looks like fashion. You know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. And that's what we expect from tonight. It's the biggest night for Hollywood. It's a huge night for fashion too. Right next it to is. you know New York Fashion Week, this is a big Absolutely. deal. You know, wearing your having your your garments featured on the red carpet at the Oscars is a huge platform. Now, what do you designers. guys think about speaking of that? What do you guys think about um, you know uh, actors and performers of color wearing non? Um, Wear designs that are designed and made by non-people of color, for instance. I mean, do you think that it is a responsibility, or should you know, mm -hmm. should they feel an, obli uh, an obligatory, yeah, uh, need to wear designers? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's think. tricky because I think yeah. oftentimes you actually hear um, celebrities of color talk mm -hmm. about how it's hard and difficult to get designers to want to dress them, uh -huh. yeah. and so it. You know, I'm hard pressed to say that when they get their come up, they have to go with the traditional designers. If you didn't want to dress me when I was in the B-list movie, okay, you know, right. I don't know that you should feel obligated. Mm -hmm. I don't think that you should feel obligated. I mean, how about uh, what do you think about that? Um, well, right. I don't. It's kind of hard to say because um, it just depends on who's available, and I don't. I don't know. I mean, I've, I never really thought about it like mm -hmm. that. But. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if they look fabulous in the dress, Ralph Lauren wanted design. I mean, I think they should look their best. Absolutely, yeah. You know, represent. You Absolutely, know? right. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I would agree with what Eddie's saying. I feel like you go with who's going to help you to put mm -hmm. yourself out there in the right. best light. I, now, right. the first lady was able to give a tremendous platform Jason. to lots of Jason designers Jason of color, Will, yeah. so that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. But you know, I, I don't know if I would go so far as to say. Right. Obligated. Yeah, okay. that's my key. If you would that's like to word. do that. That's Absolutely. fantastic. But I wouldn't feel obligated. That's right. the word. Right. right. Yeah. The obligation yeah. piece is the part that I'm like, right. no, I, I no not obligated. Right, right, right. Now, what do you all think about uh, stars? And, you know, you guys made a good point. We talked about uh, stars being dressed by stylists and designers who gave them opportunities when they were coming up in the you know so-called B-list movies. How about do does that uh, actor should they still be loyal? if you will, to that designer, or should they go ahead and go with the big brands? They need to go with what works for them. If, if, it is. if your style is evolving and that designer's style yes. is not evolving, right. you can't be loyal to them and have right. mess on the carpet. Gotcha. So, <laughs> that's not going to work. That's true. Right. That's not going to work. Goes hand in hand. <laughs> right. yep. It goes hand in hand, so I agree with it. Um, yeah. That you, you know, if it's not, if the style is not evolving, you got to move on. 
It's never personal, folks. Right. It's, never, it's, it's, not. it's, it's always it's about business. who can right. get the job done. Yeah. And it's right. all about building a brand and yeah. how you present yourself Absolutely. and how you package right. yourself. So if, if your crew from back in the day can okay. still flow with you, sure. fantastic. Right. No yeah. issues. Right. But you know, if they still have you rocking stuff from Iverson Mall, <laughs> okay. that ain't going to work. See. <laughs> <laughs> see, 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 I'm sorry, see. that's the hood in me. A little gift shop right. a leather jacket? <laughs> <laughs> Some Z cap reach pants. Right. Right. We're, exactly. we're not doing that okay. no more. We, right. we, 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 it's a new day. We elevated ourselves. And day. you know, I've oh. seen a lot of people, for instance, Jayla's one of those people. Remember, she started off as a fly girl. Exactly. And her style just really has evolved. Exactly. And she has maintained this that is very it. polished look. And, uh, you know, and she has become a girl. style icon. She has. She has. Absolutely. So, absolutely. And it is kind of getting a you know, new team, right? You, know, you have some people that will invest in you and you start out, start off, um, I think about Fantasia. Even on the um, you know, yeah. always been late, but you see style has evolved and she's probably got new people. And yeah. speaking of our first lady as well, um, just a uh, beautiful style. Um, oh, and her team has evolved. She's had some of the same people, but uh, they also have evolved with her. You know yeah, that I as mean, well? They stepped the game up. It's just, you know, loyalty works mm -hmm. to a degree. I'm sorry. I just, I just feel like you have to go with what works. I agree. Absolutely. Everybody's stepping their game up and we don't have any issues. That's, but, that's the point. I mean, right. Look at Beyonce, you know, even, sure. even she had to make a shift at the sort of, I don't think her mom designs for her. Now that was so that nice. Play that idea. That's true. Sure. Her mom did design for her. Right. When, when they first the started. Right. Right. And it worked for that moment. For right that now. moment. That's true. Now. Exactly. Now she's in the big leagues. It's true. It's another level. And I think her mom still helps out. But I'm yeah, I think she does. I think she does. I mean, and what's interesting is that I think her mom gets her. You know, I think she wore her mom's design for her wedding, I believe it was. So beautiful. Okay. Oh, beautiful gowns. It was, it was really pretty. She didn't like it. She, Beyonce didn't like no, the No, she did not. <laughs> oh, my yes. She said that. Really? I mean, I'll do a Google oh, when wow. her breaks, but she said she didn't like it. Breaking. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's not breaking. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. She said she didn't like it. Yeah. I thought she was beautiful. You heard that too? What did you no. just say? Oh, Eddie, he <laughs> said she hated it. <laughs> hey, she did. Did you go back? He took it back. Hey, <laughs> living color. Right. Hey, Eddie. <laughs> so, you know, tell us your thoughts, guys. Of course, here live, we'll see your comments, or even in the comment section, if you happen to watch it on the replay. Um, let us know what you think. You know, should people be loyal, right? And they say these uh, actors ain't loyal, right? But should they be loyal? You know, should they feel obliged or pressured or somehow feel encouraged to wear uh, designs um, by people of color? Or not? Let us know. Uh, so, what are the um, other looks that you guys noticed in the red carpet so far? So, for the men, mm -hmm. um, yes. uh, Pharrell. Pharrell okay. came in with something very different. He's wearing a Chanel tuxedo um, with tails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very pulled together. He yeah. looks amazing. Yeah. Okay. I think I think my favorite gent so far is probably Michael Strahan. I'm I'm, I'm loving his type of skinny tie. It's like a velvet material, very fitted, polished. Wow. I love it. Sophisticated. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah. You guys, um, we're just pulling all kind of just all over the net, uh, full of this year's Oscars fashion, and I just saw a wonderful photo um, here uh, with Ida's our phone uh, tablet, beautiful design, um, Pharrell, he always is a very tailored person, but he kind of goes with the flow, yeah. does what he wants to do, I he like that, really and good. I love that, that he's, he is yeah. true to himself, he's mm -hmm. not, he's not going to get pigeonholed mm -hmm. into, I have to dress this way because that's what they expect of me, and you have to respect that to a degree, you know, mm -hmm. but then at the same time, you know, you, you can go a little to the left with that, sure. you know, like we were talking the last time about, you Lady Gaga, oh, sure. or, you know, the meat. Well, he's like, okay, that's a little gimmicky, but right. <laughs> whereas for him, I, I never feel like he's trying to use any gimmick. I think he's just being that's himself. True. Off, yeah. he that's true. That's who he is. So I can, I can respect that. That's who you are. Do you, boo? You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. What's interesting is, um, you know, I'm waiting to see what some of the uh, performers will wear on stage. Um, we mentioned this last time Beyonce, she performed years ago. At the Oscar, she had a wardrobe malfunction. It's a beautiful black gown. It was, uh, you know, strapless bodice, Beyonce. Oh wow! And her shoe fell off, and this full skirt. But she looked so beautiful. She had like this black uh, eyeshadow, but it was like a, it was a sheen. It was almost like a, um, it was like a, it 
was almost like a, it was like a glossy black uh, eye. It was mm-hmm. beautiful. It was really, really different. Um, and so, uh, of course, she you know, changed her, her wardrobe. It's always really nice to see what people put on in. Mm-hmm. How they change. Like, oh, on absolutely, absolutely. So, Eddie, what kind of uh, hair uh, would you say uh, works for the red carpet? What are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Um, nothing is, like we were talking earlier, nothing like, Grammys per se will be because it's more like entertainers. Like, I mean, even though the Oscars are entertainment too, but more clean, like sexy, sophisticated looks. See, that's okay. what I like. You know, sure. yes. like body hair, nice glowing, shimmery highlights. Yeah. Um, not too much color, no rainbow, nothing mm-hmm. stuff like that. Absolutely. It's just, mm-hmm. just real sophisticated. <laughs> it's sophisticated, and sexy. And classy. Absolutely, because to me, that's what the Oscars, you know, represents. It's right. a classy evening to celebrate the talents and the accomplishments of the film industry. And you so. represent what class? Like yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. And I always think about it uh, being something that should be timeless. So when you look back, you know, you know like, oh, this is one of the dated. Absolutely. Right. I'm always um, oh, so tickled by the I pictures wear? of like the first Oscars before it became this fashion event, yeah. and you know, they go to whatever store. And, and, and buy dresses, and you said, hmm. But of course, now it's become this big thing with stylists Designers, and entourages yeah. and so forth. You know, but uh, I remember when Julia Roberts wore, I want to say, was it a Monty Prive? It was a beautiful black gown. It had like a white trimming, and it was actually um, a vintage dress. Uh, I forget what year it was, definitely from like the 80s. And it was beautiful, something that, I mean, you look even now, it's classic style. She had her hair in a bun, it was just really beautiful, and it really showed taste her beauty and a frame and everything. And, and you, you know, to kind of go off of what you're saying, I think one of my favorite moments so far, do you all remember the outfit that Sharon Stone wore? Yes. Oh and it was like a shirt goodness. from The Gap. Game changer. With a full skirt, and you it was like, the, boom. The hair and just she was just, back. it was simple, she was, it was yeah. classy, yeah. and she was like, I'm not doing all that fussy stuff. I'm I think she went and got a shirt and a skirt, skirt like and that. done. Yeah, I love that. Gorgeous. Me too. You know what? Cause Game changer. That's sort of my approach to, to, to dressing, mm-hmm. actually. It's it's mixing high with low. Yeah, no. It's, yeah. it's you know, working. Listen, I've been known to go into Target, mm-hmm. Walmart, mm-hmm. Claire's to find accessories. Sure. You don't have to always rely upon the name brand. That's not what style is to me. Absolutely. That, you know what I mean? That's, that's the branding doing its work with those stores mm-hmm. of designers making you believe that you right. have to shop at a particular level sure. to be fabulous, but that's not what style is. Style is being able to take anything that's at your disposal, sure. making it work for you, your authentic self. That yeah. is what style is. And we talked about that. Any, you know, you can't go to a magazine and pick a, a look from the magazine and make it work for you anyway. Even if you were right. to have all of those so pieces, true. it still may not look right on, on you. Because everything right. ain't for everybody. It's not for everybody. I think it was it on... Goodness, I don't want to get this wrong. Uh, it wasn't Sophia Loren. It was, I think it was Coco Chanel that said that, you know, you look in the mirror and you take one piece of accessory off. In mm-hmm. other words, you know, you really make it about you, not necessarily like a particular set or what people think you have to wear, but you look in the mirror and just, you know, take it off. I remember years ago, like having to wear earrings, not wearing earrings. Sometimes certain hairstyles, and you know, I write about this, earrings, it actually looks better without earrings. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very classy, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Now, see, that me, I don't go out with no earrings. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> but you can I just feel naked without my earrings. Right, 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 right. Like right. a nice stud. Right, sure. exactly. Sure. At least yeah, a stud. You got to have at least, at least something there. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. I agree with you. I think another great Coco Chanel quote is, um, fashion is what you buy, style is how you wear it. Mm. Or something to that effect. I love that. Because that's the it's the honest truth. Mm-hmm. It is, you know, fashion is just the stuff that you go into the store, you order online, mm-hmm. and you pick... But how you put it together, mm-hmm. that is what defines your style. That mm-hmm. is style. Interesting um, point you're making. Now, I've seen this a lot on the red carpet, Eddie, in terms of hair. Um, people really wearing their hair really pulled back and polished, but in their everyday life or in some of the movies or even when you see them like in the you know, uh, gossip rags or what have you, they're not that buttoned up. Should people just automatically assume that you have to be that buttoned up with your hair, even though it looks classy, but it's not really them? And they, you know, and they want to look nice. What would you say? I about think that? it's almost like, I mean, maybe um, it's almost like it's almost like a runway show. Mm-hmm. Like you go with, you know, the designer clothes is what stands out. And sometimes a simple ponytail or something, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, she That's like crazy. you said, like you said earlier, like timeless. That you know, it stands out. Beautiful face makeup mm-hmm. and like I said, little dangle earrings mm-hmm. or a neck piece. But you want to really focus on that person. 
but but and it's almost like less is more with the mm -hmm. head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You don't want to come up there with the helicopter flying out there. Right, right. <laughs> Talk over some accessory. <laughs> Yeah, I, th right. I think the rule so. of thumb, at least to me, as a person who um, likes to believe that she's stylish, um, I think the rule of thumb is if your dress is doing a whole lot, mm -hmm. then everything else should be simple. So you're not mm -hmm. competing. It's one point of focus. It's, so you're not yeah. competing. Mm -hmm. Or if the dress is really simple and subtle, then maybe you give us a little bit more, you know, drama yeah. with Absolutely. the hair and the makeup. But mm -hmm. I don't think you should do That's both because that's... What are we looking at? What's what's happening? So it's just too much. Like, yeah, so pick right. one thing. Pick one thing. Mm -hmm. I agree. And, and sometimes with the drastic color too, though, like mm -hmm. some people right. go from extreme, they go like blonde mm -hmm. to dark, and that's sometimes just enough for the hair. Just pull back, True. side a little bun, just with the color. So little things like that, people forget. The color makes a big world of difference too. Wow. Yeah. And, and and I also think that that approach of pick one thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. applies to dressing and, and your body. Mm -hmm. So I'm of the opinion that if you want to show cleavage, mm -hmm. then maybe everything else is covered. Right, there's not sure. a short If you want to show cleavage. leg, then we're not giving you... So true. Is, uh, that's right. just me. You know, you, you keep that, and that to me is how you keep it classy. Sure. Because when it's too short, too tight, and got a slit, and it's see-through, it's right. like, what, what, What's why, why get dressed? Let's just be naked. Right. But you, to me, this is just my, my opinion, folks. <laughs> You don't have it's Absolutely. I'm all right if you don't. Makes sense to me. <laughs> but I, I agree with that. To me, that's just mature. Mm -hmm. It's sophisticated. It's classy. Mm -hmm. And you pick one thing. If, if your legs are your best asset, give them the legs by all means. If you like that you have a nice, you know, what's the word? Decolletage. Decolletage. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> then you rock, you know, you give them right. that. But you don't you do not do too much because then it, then it takes it down a notch. It then becomes on the borderline trashy to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I do. I think that's that's accurate. You definitely have to pick one point of focus. It also shows that you know what your best assets are. You are. It seems like you're trying to if you have too much going on. Right. <laughs> so I, I would agree with Jody that pick one. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, it's interesting because lots of people have questions. I mean, I'm I run into folks all the time that have um, they feel challenged when it comes to walking the red carpet. You know, lots of times different events, whether it be a people's job. Um, or, you know, just events on the weekend are having red carpet events, right? Where they're being photographed, people popping them on Facebook and all kinds of social media. Um, I just want to kind of go through, you know, tonight's a short night, guys. Um, but I want to kind of go through and have each of you all just share some tips and some strategies that people, women and men, can, um, can apply to red carpets or to um, events. Like, because, you know, this is not like everyday wear. You know, where you can just put on a blazer or a suit, um, but for women, you know, it can be a little chance. unnerving. It's, 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 but it's your chance to be it amazingly is. fabulous, Absolutely. which I sure. love. I live for that. Like, you know, we can do jeans and uh, every, every day of the week, yeah. but how many times do you right. get to rock a floor-length gown? You know, like, yeah. to me, this is the opportunity for you to just go ham, go off. I think a couple things that I think are foundational, and it sounds like it's not important, but for women... Mm -hmm. It is get your undergarments together. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely put, yeah. And that just means that, like, like you said, we're not used to doing this on an everyday basis, right. but some of these uh, fabrics are not yeah. very forgiving. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. invest in, don't, everyone is wearing it. They won't tell you this, but on the red carpet, they're wearing Spanx. They got their Spanx. They have their okay. Spanx the on. Foundation get a pair. Yeah, sure. <laughs> get some good foundational garments. Yes. That's that's number one because you're yes. gonna have an amazing dress, but if you're if panty you lines are showing, and 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 it's not gonna work. Exactly, yeah. which we all have. We all have. We all have those things, but right. you just have to know what works. And I think even before you get to mm -hmm. the foundation garment, I think is you have to know your body. Absolutely. So Absolutely. you have to know your strengths and weaknesses mm -hmm. when it comes to your physique, you know, and the way that in the way that you're made and the body that you have right now, not the one that you had 10 years ago sure. before you had your kids. Right. It's the one that you're working with today. So if right now, you know, you have a little, you know, midsection mm -hmm. stuff happening. All right. Now we know we need to get a certain type of Spanx in order to, you know, camouflage that. Mm -hmm. and, and also find the dress. Exactly. That's, that's what I was going to say. Find the right you can't hit that dress. So the right, first right. step in fashion period, whether it's red carpet or every day, mm -hmm. the first step is to know your body. Be honest know your, with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. be honest with and yourself. know your body and your body type. 
and then we can begin to dress it properly. But if you're in, if you're delusional right. about what you're working with, you're, you're you're doing your own self a disservice. Wow, that's that's really really. I mean, that's just that's real. That's, the that's one real. Is, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's real, and it's just understanding. Like I I, uh, I have a, a a group of girls that I mentor um, through a club. And you know we talk about fashion and modeling and style and all those things. And one of the first things we do at the very be very beginning of the school year is talk about body type. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we go through and we figure out these are the different body types. These are the ways each of us are made. We're all not made the same, and that's Absolutely. fine. We're not cookie cutter, and that's right. fine. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with any one particular body type or nothing perfect about any one of them to me. Mm -hmm. We're all fearfully and wonderfully made and beautifully made just the way that we are. And so one of the first things we do is we, we talk about what body types are first. And then we go through and we look at how some of the celebrities are built. Mm -hmm. And we'll say, okay, so here's Jill Scott. Jill Scott's body type is this. Here's Kim Kardashian. This is her mm -hmm. body mm -hmm. type. And so then they, they begin to see like, oh, okay, so if I am pear-shaped, I can still be fabulous. Mm -hmm, Maybe mm -hmm. if I'm not hourglass like Beyonce, but mm -hmm. my body is a pear, but look at her. She's a sure. pear and she's fantastic. Absolutely. So then they, can, they begin to associate, okay, so there's nothing wrong with me. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is an important message for all women to learn. There's nothing wrong with you and your body. You just have to learn how to work what you got. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, do you want to add anything? Um, I would say beyond that, you know, the basics, know what colors look good mm -hmm. on you, mm -hmm. understand that you're on a red carpet, how things photograph and how they look on you at home, again, very different things, and so you need to be yes. mindful of that kind of stuff, as well as um, posture being mm -hmm. super important on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. Just carrying yourself with confidence, basically. Yes. So, those are those are just some basic things to, to get you started and help you remember, this is not everyday wear. That is amazing. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, Janelle that. Monet. Janelle Monet, Monet. Show that. folks. Can you see? Up. Can you all see this? Yeah. Fashion. It's the Beautiful. red carpet. Yes. It's, it's about so fashion, weird. glamour, glitz, taking it over the top. She always delivers to me. Every time. I love how she's put together. I don't know who her stylist is, but they are on point. Yeah, this is, yeah. This is a win for Janelle. Okay. Coming sure. to support her hidden figures. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Eddie, what can you um, share uh, okay. to um, the folks Janelle that are watching us now, who will watch us later, in terms of, you know, kind of, uh, you know, again, it is a wonderful thing to get dressed up, but, you know, whether it be time or budget or uh, self-esteem, what can you share with people um, in order for them to really feel good and feel great on the red carpet or to events, formal events? Well, like we were, like we all basically just agreed. I mean, just know yourself. Mm -hmm. um, try to figure out if you don't really know your body type or your hair. Seek, you know, some professional guidance. You know, and so, um, you know, I will help you along the way, and you know, eventually, kind of discovering things about yourself that you didn't know. Then you can start trying different things with your hair, even with your makeup, mm -hmm. uh, your clothing. Um, so it all goes hand in hand. I mean, just learning yourself. And it's a fun thing to do, you know, yeah, trying stuff. Don't be, right. don't be afraid to step out and try different things, different colors that, that work and may not work. But just try it, you know what I mean? So you discover yourself. Absolutely. Maybe that's another mm -hmm. tip is do a trial run. Yeah. Right, absolutely. <laughs> well, I was going to say, but, but, but do, but don't do you do try it on the red carpet at no, the Oscars? Right. No. I don't, I don't think we do a no, trial and error We don't then. want a trial color, <laughs> hair color on the red carpet. Practice beforehand. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. And so, like, even with the men, just at least stay groomed, stay mm -hmm. clean. Um, now, they are exceptions to the rules, like, uh, what's my man, Morgan Freeman. Oh, you yeah. You see, like, he got the same haircut, like, <laughs> Morgan. More my man. Like, I know. You know what? That's his look. Sometimes, like, <laughs> what look. do they do when they have to like prepare for movies and they end up with like this the beard or what have mm -hmm. you or just mm -hmm. look? You know. Well, Morgan Freeman was at the same as. I know. <laughs> they just they just hire him. Leave him alone. 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 What? You come as Morgan Freeman. What? And Samuel L. Jackson's the same too, right? Every, every time you see what? him. What? <laughs> Switched up a couple times. Little Samuel. What? <laughs> oh, you Lord. You come as you are. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you no, ready? I'm ready. Just come ready. as you ready? Yes. Right. You ready? Right. 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 Right.
Okay, Mr. Freeman, all right. Wow. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> okay. So Emma Stone. Oh, oh what's she doing? Emma Stone nominated for best performance in an actor. Uh, for an actress in a leading role for La La Land is doing uh, like a champagne cotton. Let's see. I, I, I don't. It's got fringe. We got some, some fringe happening on the bottom here. I don't know if it's a small photo. And you know what? I think of Emma. She's so pretty. Um, I wonder if that dress is not um, washing her out. I believe that, that it is. That is a challenge with she's the popular fair. colors on the fair skin. Yeah. yeah. She's so fresh, so pretty. And see, um, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. To me, like we said a moment ago, you choose the colors that pop mm -hmm. that for, you. for your mm -hmm. skin. But yeah. And I, I love seeing contrast. I love seeing a vibrant, <laughs> you know, so if you're, you know, dark and you have bright color mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. um, or if you have pale skin and wear like mm -hmm. a red or a blue right. or a green and she's got that gorgeous, you know, auburn hair, yeah. a green would have really looked fantastic. Nice. Yeah, like a burgundy would have been really pretty. Yeah. Nice. Uh, but hey. Me and Lisa Dio talk about her. Hey, she's, <laughs> she's there. there. Yeah, she's who, her, who, who designed her dress? Oh, oh it's like a badly mischka. I wonder who that is. It's pretty pretty. And really a nice backdrop to the various yeah, the backdrop, designs. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, dresses. True, so true. The I was the graphic. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, I would tell women to She um, looked like the Oscar. I know. <laughs> Look this is Look Dakota Bible. Johnson in a gold dress. Eddie's decided that she is a walking <laughs> She's a Oscar. Not right. She is a <laughs> Not right. You need to stop. Okay, it. let's all look at Viola Davis. Okay. Yeah, she's okay. Okay. So the hair, Eddie, look at this hair for Viola Davis. Do you see this? The shortcut? Oh, yeah. That's different. I like um, it. I, 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 love it. I like it. I love it. Well, what like was lot. her hair? Um, what, did, what is her natural? I suppose. You know, oh, I don't she know. Does, she, she, she does. She's does super time, versatile. Right? And she's doing the, yeah, yeah, it looks good on her. It looks yeah. different. I mean, that's she's a different very look versatile. for her. And I, and I like the fact that she doesn't feel beholden to stick to the natural style. Here's the thing. Like, natural, relaxed, we, whatever. But sometimes we can get so serious about things. It's like, well, I'm team, because I'm team that. I'm like, well, team girl, I don't want to you want to go there. True. And some people, you know, make you feel bad. They call them like the natural Nazis. Um, right, the natural Nazi. They I still get it from folks. Hello. Your hair, like, as a young, I read a blog and she said that she wore her hair pressed out one time. Who? As a young lady. She was okay. a blogger. And so she went to a national conference and she just, that weekend, decided mm -hmm. to pull her hair out. And the people, she felt they, they, they were judging her. They shamed her. Yeah. <laughs> and then she had a relax. She was like, why well, just blew it out? It's convenient. I'm entitled. Yeah. I, so I, I, I have a relaxer. That's my choice. I'm the Absolutely. one that's got to do my hair. Right. I'm the one that's got to live my lifestyle, get up in the morning, go to right. work, got kids. Hello? I, it's not my choice to spend an exorbitant amount of time on my hair. Sure. So the relaxer works, works for me. Absolutely. My lifestyle. I don't need anybody else judging what I do with the hair that's on my head. If you want to be natural, God bless you. Go for it. I love it. I think it's beautiful. It's fabulous. My own daughters are both natural. They used to, one of them used to have a relaxer. And she okay. made a decision. She wanted to grow hers out, and I love her hair, and I love the fact that she knew what works for her, what she wanted to do, and I respect that. And I think the bottom line is we all have to give each other room to be individual. Absolutely. Without judging. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, who is one person to say what's better for another person? You I got think that's just really ridiculous. This climate, I think. Um, I'm a little offended. When you have a marginalized people end up doing the exact same thing that we, you know, oftentimes complain about or... Oh, absolutely. Way about you know, absolutely. The cycle, which is the most randomest thing. Let me ask y'all this. Do y'all think that, um, that sometimes some of these the actors, this is their chance to rebrand themselves that night? I think so. I'm oh, sure. I think so. Absolutely. I think so. I think it's a, uh, think that goes it's a huge stage. Everything. Yeah. I, I would say so much. Like yeah. she, she changed. I think. I think she that like, debuted her new. Remember, she used to be really gimmicky right. and yeah. wild. Right. And then all of a sudden, she showed she up at an event, and it was like, oh, right. 
Janelle Monae's done the same thing though. Remember, she used to always wear black and white pants. Always black and white mm -hmm. pants. So that was her uniform. And I think she definitely, in terms of pursuing um, film, mm -hmm. has decided to transition and elevate her brand or change her brand. Mm -hmm. It's still black and white, but yeah, but you know the it's become a little bit more yeah fashion forward. I, I would agree. I would agree. I would say that certainly the red carpet, um, you know, big events like the Oscars, Super Bowl, the Grammy, and these kinds of events are really a great way. And people, first of all, eyeballs are there. Yeah, lots of different kind of eyeballs. You have various key demographics. You have the audience. You have different you know stakeholders involved. Asian studio casting people right exactly and so it is a big stage yeah, absolutely you know, and then it just lives on it lives forever you, know, so you gotta be careful <laughs> you really really do yeah so yeah I think it's a really huge stage and I would uh, tell even everyday women that it's kind of the same thing if you think about it um, opportunities to um, rebrand if that's the word you want to use or give people the opportunity to see who you are yes um, and see what yeah. you're about, you know, at these various big events, whether it be weddings, family reunions, conventions, for instance. Yeah. You know, I, I have to admit, I'm always kind of uncomfortable or nervous for people when they're about to have like a big event, whether yes. it's graduation or something like that, or a speaking engagement, True. and I am praying for them. <laughs> I am like, I am please don't be crazy. You know, be your yeah. best. Get that hair you're, right. you're right. Get that face beat. I go to the mall. You have to do something. I was going to say. We don't wait for I was going to say. We want to see people. We do. And Absolutely. we're all rooting. People are right. rooting. It's just like a bride. I cannot tell you yeah. the amount of times where my bride will come in and really set the the tone for the wedding. So if she's she's like, okay. This will be a fierce wedding. If she's not, she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. When and, and, and there's no do over there. <laughs> like, there's no happened? do over there. That no day is stamped in your memory. I mean, or well, like, you know, I want to be natural. Really? Yeah. You don't want to wear any makeup? You don't, you don't With the natural photos come down. that I'm gonna. <laughs> well, I just want to, you know, just do the. Give me some. Give me some. You know, some lip balm. My husband says he doesn't really like a lot of makeup. He didn't mean today. He didn't mean today. You know. Special day. Okay. And you know, I don't know. And um, I had a client bless her heart tell me that her son. Doesn't like her wearing makeup. makeup. Yeah. So therefore, she was the adult. How does the, son, the son was a teenager at this point. But you know what's interesting? Uh, this happened to be a really nice woman. She's um, actually a uh, she's married to a pastor, mm -hmm. and uh, the pastor was very charismatic and what have you. And um, it was just very fascinating to see that she felt like she needed to get her son's. Approval. Yeah, it was almost, almost like she kind of used it as an excuse. He didn't like it. Well, what did he think? How old is he? And why? Yeah. Yeah. You know, so these kinds of things. And so, you know, you see them uh, move about in, in, in the pictures and what have you. You think it's a really now. He got on a brand new suit. Got on a new zoot suit and carrying on and what have you. And his pinstripes and his all that. She, and she's like over here looking crazy. Straight up. But here again, like we said a couple weeks ago, do you so it gets down to the everyday person when you step out? Is it, I mean, is it important to dress for the occasion too? Yes. So it goes in the whole picture. Mm -hmm. Dress for the occasion. But sometimes you're saying being me is not always being you. You know what I mean? So if you're showing up at a certain events, look like when well, you're showing up too. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're trying to take it to the next level, you need to dress the part and look the part, not right. only dress. As they say, uh, dress for the job that you Way want, that you right. want the one you have. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. And absolutely. something that I think, Keep besides, real. yeah, being a celebrity. <laughs> I mean, who said this? We knew a gentleman, Ron. He oh, said, yeah, Ron. the world is your runway. Yes, indeed. We always say, the world is your runway. Yes, so you indeed. Have to kind of, That's true. You know, think about it like you that. You step out the really house. Know who's watching you. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And especially if you are, um, we were talking about this earlier, some friends and I. If you are a person that works in the fashion, hair, beauty, style industry, mm -hmm. it's almost like you are a walking Ad right. advertisement for your Absolutely. business or Absolutely. brand, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're a hairstylist and you want people to come to you for that service, but your own hair sure. is not in good shape, what is that saying? The same thing if you're a makeup artist or if you're a, a, a stylist, mm -hmm. it's like you the way that you present yourself mm -hmm. lets people know hey, they know what they're talking Absolutely. about. Well, I'm, I, I, I'm willing to at least give them a shot or yes. listen to what they have to say because they're already showing me mm -hmm. they have mm -hmm. those skills. You know, so there's so many takeaways and you know, people um, 
from time to time, why do you know, why I need to wash the red carpet and things like that? Um, but I always say that there's so many little examples like that. And also, we can, you know, we kind of get to see what's going to be, you know, uh, in vogue for the next mm -hmm. year and kind of see what the designers are doing mm -hmm. and how some of our favorite celebrities are, are wearing the styles now, you know? And I think it's important to understand, you know, what's in your closet or what you should put in your closet. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can really make yes. wise investments. Yes. You know, um, just the other day, go to my closet and say, you know what? I'm getting rid of like half this stuff because it doesn't yes. suit me well. It doesn't serve me in right. the capacity that I needed to do. And, and so, yeah, I can kind of see what's out here, some new cuts, some mm -hmm. new, you know, designs. Um, there's some talented designers out here now that are making things. And mm -hmm. there's some classic things that, you know, are still fresh and still look good. You know, why not see what's on the red carpet to see, you know, what's, uh, you know, what's our favorite celebrities are wearing. Okay, so what, what's your thought on, because I'm looking at a picture now of Casey mm -hmm. Affleck, who's nominated for Best Actor for Manchester by the Sea. And he's got, you know, your traditional tuxedo, white shirt, bow tie. The facial hair, and I'm, I'm just, what's your thought on that, Eddie? Mm. Um, or, or, yeah, ladies, like, what's, what's your thought on the whole beard, mustache thing for the red carpet at the Oscars? I have a beard on right now. You so. do? <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I don't, as long as it's groomed, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm thinking that's the whole key. His take, is take, a take, little take, wild. Take, take a look at a that. Little, mm -hmm. His is What's your thought as on polished. That? Well, but you maybe he's in a movie. Like yes, I do want to know. <laughs> I do want to know. Um, I guess, I don't know. Hey, I'm going to say it to, oh my, goodness, to mm -hmm. my, my white brothers out there. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of that caveman look, I guess, that's okay. in. He's going for the caveman you know? look. But okay. they've been doing rugged. Yeah, yeah. this more rugged, rustic look. And they're trying to yeah. incorporate yeah. into. Fashion, you just trim it up a little bit. Yeah. So it, I don't really, personally, I don't movie, really like that. If he's in a movie I know. right now, yeah, I know Brad Pitt messy. has done that. Brad Pitt has come to the Oscars all kinds he of ways. He said, "I'm filming. I cannot cut right. this." Right. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> Sara, um, yes, Sara. 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 Um, no. she's not buying it. Okay. Um, no. Okay. It's the Oscars, <laughs> folks. Said. Okay. It's unacceptable. I feel, I feel some kind of way about that. I do. Because here you have women out here who are getting glammed all day. Uh, all day. All day. You just do it. You know what I mean? It's like, true. I just come from the gym. We're just going, you know what I mean? Yeah. That would be interesting to have that interview with him and say, how long did it take for you to get like, ready oh, today? about 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. And then, and okay, so then that's one look at a gentleman on the red carpet. And then there is, oh, I can never say, say his name correctly, Marshala oh, Ali oh, yes. from Moonlight. Mm -hmm. So now he's got the solid black look. I, and I love it. I like yeah, it. I, I love, love that. Black it. Black, 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 all black, black everything. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I think it looks nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ava, I like Ava's look. Ava DuVernay. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I think she's somebody that, um, her beauty is so unique and it's also something mm -hmm. that I think people can relate to. Um, I think she, people can see her look. and say, you know what? Hey, I may be shaped like she is or mm -hmm. she's kind of like an everyday it. woman. I do like it. But rocks the red carpet. With so much elegance, so much class. So this much doesn't look like class. an approachable look. It looks it completely approachable. Someone could go out tomorrow. Can you show? Um, well? Someone could so go nice. out tomorrow and Ooh. try to replicate this uh -huh. look. This is Beautiful. this is a very forgiving um, sure. style. And the hair, nice the natural look. The hips. Look at Beautiful. Halle Berry, guys. Okay. Uh, look at Halle giving yeah, you, you know this what? big she, full I wild like, curls. I love the dress. Dancing? But the hair, I love the hair. Okay. I'm, you know what, the hair, I'm looking at the proportions. Mm. <laughs> okay, so maybe she could have pulled up the side. You know, the, the, the top you know is longer than the sides. I like what she's and, doing. And I I'm like it. For it. <laughs> I'm here for it. Oh, yeah. I am. Hold on, wait a minute. It's the proportions. The, and our stylist over here is like, uh-uh. To see her in anything other than her traditional short look that they really look like her. But we're like, like ball. Sure, or super long and pull back. Something that shows her face. I like she it. Is so pretty. I, I mean, like it. This is different. I love it's the color. It, it, that's her hair too, isn't it? It I looks know. like it could be. What you think? Or could be a mean set of crochet. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, we do do that too. Hello. Okay. We do do that too. I'm not ashamed. We are not ashamed. We do it all, honey. The yeah. yeah. lasso, the natural, the weave, the crochet, a the closure. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, whatever it takes to get the job. I saw one last week. I don't think it's hers. Do you think it's hers? I saw one last week. In my I don't know. Listen, that's a good thing. Well, that's that's not. I think, I think she's <laughs> But it's, it's her thing. I like it. I think it's the best. 
Oh, no. Oh, that's man. one thing I love about African American America. Look, please, everybody that we, we will pull from all kinds like, of resources. We can right. do. You know what I mean? I love that. Absolutely. Look at John Legend's bow tie. Oh, man. What y'all think of that? I've never seen a bow tie like that. It's different. It's different. You know what? Dracula. Like that. You're not feeling yeah. it? Yeah. It's, it's, the bow tie. It's what? It's what, Eddie? It's what? Get know. it out. Spit it the out. bow tie piece. Maybe this, he try to go with the Oscars background a little bit. See how far he's thinking about that background. He didn't know what the background was going to look like. Eddie, come on. He didn't know what the background was going to look like. He's going to Google it. He's going to Google it. They do. That's why I said it's giving me Dracula. What? The fame. It's different. It's different. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. We're using different. He's wearing Gucci by a lot of stuff. Yeah. That's Gucci. That's Gucci. See, therefore, it's okay. No, it's not. No. And that's what's wrong with people. Yeah, say it. Say it. Say that. Because they think because it's a name brand that they can wear it. Exactly. That will preach. Wrong is wrong. That will preach. I don't care if it's Gucci, Chanel, Oh, this dress. Oh, this dress. Guys, guys, guys. Do you see this dress? Haley Steinfeld. Yeah. Oh, this is really pretty. That is gorgeous. Yes. Oh, my God. This is. I don't know who she is, but it's I know. I thought about it. I thought it was amazing to have you know wearing Ralph and Russo. That's beautiful. I love it. Now we'll Why are you laughing? Nah, because I'll be like, oh, well, we'll see, it goes with the background. I'll be like, yeah, I'll leave it. Stop it. Stop it. Can somebody come get Eddie, please? Look at him. Look at him. No, she's great, man. How can somebody get him, somebody? Look, I think her hair, everything. 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 Yeah, it's really pretty. Flawless. Yeah. This is a beautiful tux, this gentleman. Oh, this is David. But that was 50 Cent. Oh, yeah, hello? Yes. Beautiful. Yellow one. Because that was 50 Cent. Like, like, he does. He does. He does. No, no, he does. No, he does. No, he does. <laughs> Curtis. I like Curtis. <laughs> look like Curtis. Curtis Jackson. I'm looking at Curtis Jackson. Curtis Jackson. Like Curtis Jackson. He does not look like 50 Cent. Oh, well, what, what, First, no, of, all, first of all, don't do that. First of all, don't do that. Why are you talking about his shoes? His shoes are nice. I mean, I'm looking at it. Look at the little uh, It looks like he has a little tassel on him. Maybe they're coming back. My dad has those shoes. Yeah, I thought that was his wife. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Who's that? Oh, this is his wife? Mm-hmm. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, you're all right? I'm good. You okay? She's beautiful. She is beautiful. She is beautiful. I'm fine. She's gorgeous. Oh, Jessica Jessica, I was just going to say, Jessica being. I like it. Yeah. I like I like metallics on the red carpet. But I'm wondering, like, the silver with the gold. What silver? The neck. On her necklace. So I'm seeing this around here. I like it. But it seems like it's a part of this gold piece that actually. I like it. It's, mm -hmm. it's fine. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Mixed metals, yeah. And she's trying to match the background. But I'm trying to go to her face. She's going to go home. It's to me, she's throwing it off a little teeny bit. But I mean, I do like that. I, I, like I actually would that. have liked a little bit more makeup on her just to warm her up a little bit. Like a red lip? Yeah, to warm right. her up. I like that the hair is simple. Yes. I like yeah. that the yeah, hair that's is what simple. That's what I'm saying. Pull back. Yeah. Side. You got to yeah. pick one. Absolutely. You can't do right. both. Crazy. And, here and, and guys, I'm, we're going to pull these pictures in the comment sections below. Uh, so if you're watching now, um, you won't see them now, but uh, certainly for the replay viewers and those of you who are watching now, come on back uh, very shortly, probably tonight sometime, and I'm going to post uh, all the looks that we're describing to you guys in the comment section below. Ooh, okay, so color on the red carpet for men. Look I like this, that. Eddie. It's a, it's a like a midnight blue or or blue right this this is tuxedo. I like it. Riz Ahmed wearing. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks good. Um, He's standing out. Many Vigo Zenga Couture. Is this okay. a burgundy? Beautiful. Think, what do you think? What do you think about that? I think the creases are oh, the pants. Right? Or eggplant? Oh, what do you mean? Very deep. deep. Eddie yeah. said something about the creases in the pants. What do you I can't. What's wrong, I mean, with, what's wrong with the pants? I don't, I, I don't know. That always bothered me for some reason. What? That, that seam, that, what you call it? The seam? The seam. Okay. What is, what's wrong? You don't want to see the seam? I never liked seam in the pants. I was a little really? kid. I used to be crying when I seen the seam. <laughs> I did. I did. Like cry, say. Eddie? I did. What? My mother thought really? I was crazy. I used to try what? to iron them out. But now they make them like, right. yeah. I, I, mean, I, I like it. I don't I mean, think I've ever seen a, a, a man's uh, I mean, pant without a Yeah, the suit the is really? supposed the suit to have the crease. Now, really? certainly, what kind I don't of suit expect Eddie, what kind no. of suit you can I don't expect your denim. No, it's a crease it's in fitted. it. It's fitted. There's a crease. Eddie, what kind of pants you be wearing? But I like this. Look at the crease. There's a crease. Slightly. 
No, no. <laughs> there is Maybe that blue one stood out. It might stand out because yeah. of the color of his suit. Oh, I would agree yeah. with that. You know what though? That black or brown? No, I think that's eggplant. It's oh, yeah, that's eggplant. Yeah, it's eggplant. Deep. 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 Like Beautiful. That. Now you know what's interesting? We haven't seen a lot of black dresses. This is my first Kirsten black dress. Dunst. Kirsten Dunst. Mm -hmm. Also, she was a part of the cast for Hidden Figures, mm -hmm. and oh, she's right. doing a full skirted that. ball gown uh, with pockets. Okay. Say yes to dresses nice. with pockets. Nice. I love that. Nice. You know. Like pockets just make me happy. They just they just excite me. Like pockets and sweatpants. So do you wear dresses? So Eddie still, Eddie still wants to go back to the crease. So now Eddie, <laughs> let go. I'm gonna think about it. I don't. I think this is deep. now. I don't like a crease in jeans. No, right. There is no crease in jeans. Please okay. do not. But it's not allowed. Suits. What's What's the the I got? I don't know. Maybe I, I do. Yeah, Eddie. They have creases. Like you can't iron know. that out. You cannot you really iron that out. out. I think I do. Let it go, Eddie. It's okay. I'll take them back to the clean. Like <laughs> Can y'all remove yeah, that? Yeah, I like that. Please, do y'all hold it for two? Kirsten Dunst is just a yes for me. I like it. Yep. Yeah, I, agree. I agree with that. So, yeah, definitely, Um, you know, this year's Oscar something is about to start. Yeah, 8 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, um, you know, we just want to oh, thank yeah. you for joining us here on uh, Style Be Live Oscars red carpet special and again don't forget to rewatch and don't forget to share and gauge we want to know what you hear yeah, what you think as you. well yes, absolutely. absolutely so real quick uh guys i just want to quickly go down and just tell the viewers just some of the things that you guys are working on real quick okay, okay. wow all right so let's see i've got a fashion show coming up for the students that i mentor mm -hmm. that's happening in may so because i produce fashion shows direct photo shoots and I'm a wardrobe stylist as well so <laughs> Um, on Boss Chicks Network, we're actually working on a professional women's channel for the month of March, so we're just tying that up and getting ready to put that out so that everyone who is following us on Boss Chicks Network, please come and check out that challenge. It'll be some, um, some things that you can do to help stretch your career and do some networking on the job. Very actionable things that you'll be able to do each day of the month of March. Fantastic. Awesome. Um, well, right now I'm working on um, bringing some of my latest collections. Um, I'm going to be featured on live, I'm on Facebook Live as well. And I'm going to be releasing my new collection uh, first Monday in May. So we're working on that. So I'll let you guys know the details. Of that. So, Pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. As you guys know, we are so excited about growing this network, um, the network, with urban media, and we're really excited about the shows that we're going to be rolling out. We have commentary, uh, which is coming out, as well as culture, which is a video magazine. So we're really excited about that. So just go through the feed and see some of uh, the uh, new show rollouts. Follow us on Instagram as well as on Twitter, all at Gum Network. So, uh, so until next time, guys. We're at this time again. <laughs> at this lovely time. See you guys next okay. time. Okay. This is the end. Absolutely. Shade has to make a move. Pretend you don't see her. Can we all? Can we all? Can we all? Can we all? No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all for one, one for all. Okay, Go team. Yeah, all right. Bye. 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 this in front of it. I don't know what that is, but it was a black screen. <laughs> Eddie, 